Hello and welcome to the IOG Amateur League Day 2, Game 2. This is uh, Filthy Fresh versus Nanga Parwat. And uh, I am Legend Wait for Red Harry, and hosting with me, to, I mean, casting with me today is Nephilim. Hey Nephilim, what's up? Hey, what's up? Yeah, so, um, what do you like? We see the Azir band coming out from Filthy Fresh, and uh, they that's... just banned out two mid laners. Yeah, they've only banned out mid laners so far, but what do you think about that Azir band? Like, Azir's been nerfed pretty hard. Do you think it makes sense to ban the Azir? Yeah, I guess. I, I mean, still the, very maybe pretty. they're making a team comp like surrounding around engaging, and I guess Azir would really hamper that. We see pretty standard bands from the uh, purple team, where we have a LeBlanc ban and a Rek'Sai ban. I haven't seen a Rek'Sai ban in a long time, but I guess they've had a bad experience with Rek'Sai. Yeah, I guess. Gregster's place pretty good Rek'Sai. So, uh, we see two jungler band coming from the purple team, and one jungle band coming from the blue team. Jarvan 4 pretty big in the jungle right now, understandable ban. And we see the Wukong locked in for the purple team and the Kha'Zix jungle locked in for the blue team. What are your thoughts on that? Okay, so we see the Leona lock-in coming in from the purple team. We have lots of AoE. We're seeing a lot of AoE on the purple team with the uh, Wukong being a solid top laner pick in the current meta. Not so sure about the Kha'Zix jungle meta since it is a squishy jungler. So I'm assuming we will be seeing a tanky top laner. Vasi locking in the Jinx and I am pretty... I am aware that Jinx is his go-to AD carry so I wouldn't be surprised if he does... I mean, he does want to win this game, so... Let's find out who his support will be playing this game. Will it be a Janna? The Janna pick making a lot of sense right now, considering the amount of... Uh, Initiation the purple team has got, Janna would really would be able to stop those Leona engages and possibly the Wukong engages, like pushing Wukong away from the team if he decides to out. And we see the Corky getting locked in. Corky is quite a strong pick, got a lot of burst on him. You know, quickly, and he's got the escape as well, and an initiate if need be, and a leeson jungle getting locked in. All we have left now are the top lane and the mid lane pick for our uh, team Filthy Fresh and. The enemy team, the purple team, is left with only their mid laner pick. We see Gregsters is hovering over Lissandra, who is a very reliable pick in the current meta, but oh, I think he's going mid lane. And we see an, a Yasuo, okay. I find this team comp a bit. Uh, they're lacking a tank, basically. Oh, and there's your tank. Okay, we see the tank. It's a top lane Darius and a mid lane Lissandra. Oh, Malzar. Okay. This will be an interesting mid lane matchup considering Malzahar Suppress and uh, Lissandra's ultimate. Of course, Malzahar Suppression would stop Lissandra from being able to use her ultimate, but uh, then again, it's all about the team fight. So 
Nephilim, what are your opinions on the current team compositions? Okay, so the game's hot, and we will be seeing them in game in three minutes. Nephilim, you here? Yeah, I'm here. Alright, so, um, we're seeing a Lissandra versus a Mal Malzahar mid lane. What do you think about that matchup? I think it's gonna be pretty balanced, but the Wukong against the Darius, I think Wukong's gonna have a tough time, although Wukong didn't take any TP. Yeah, I know, that gives and it's a so counter much pick. more team presence. Exactly, it's a counter pick. What about in the bot lane, the the Corky Leona? That's like that's like the season two dream team, isn't it? They have a good disengage. The Corky and the Leona, or uh... no, 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 Jana and okay, Jinx. Jana and Jinx. Okay, that is true. They can get away if Leona decides to engage. That's that's actually a smart pick on their part, actually. So, according to you, you think top lane will go in Darius's favor, but uh, Wukong is not running the teleport. And yeah. mid, lane, mid lane will be interesting to watch. I, I, I'm not sure how this will go in the mid lane, because in team fights, Malzahar can shut down any one person, but if Malzahar, yeah, decides, yeah, to exactly. ult, if Malzahar decides to ult anyone except Lissandra, Lissandra can ult Mal Malzahar and like stop the ult. What about the jungle? What do you think about the jungle? Lee Sin versus Kha'Zix. I think Kha'Zix is gonna have a hard time if Lee Sin chooses to counter jungle. Uh, but what do you think, like, if they if they have to duel, what, what would happen then? Like, obviously Lee Sin would clear faster, but... Oh, I don't even know about that. Do you think Lee Sin clears faster than Kha'Zix? Yeah, I guess. But if it comes down to a straight up duel, wouldn't Kha'Zix have the advantage in the jungle since he would be isolated, like Lee Sin would be isolated? I mean, both of these champions are very good duelists, so I think it, 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 it's kind of a it skill matchup. Balanced, yeah. But then again, most jungle Lee Sins usually go kind of tanky, whereas Kha'Zix is kind of an in-and-out assassin. So, that we'll, we'll see soon enough. So the game's gonna go, like, we're gonna go in-game in about 5 seconds. Uh, do you think there's gonna be a pause at the start of the game? Next. Well, I, I always ask this question when I'm casting. It's kind of a... Kind of a thing now, kind of a tradition, as you well know. So, taking a look at the at the borders right now, we have three silvers on the blue side, and so far one gold and two silvers on the purple side. So, they win the border match. They're even on the skin department right now, and Purple Team's mid laner has not connected yet. Or he has, and he has a skin as well. Okay, so Nephilim, any uh, predictions to make? Who do you think will win this game? Uh, I can't tell right now. Well, that's the point of the prediction. Like, what do you think? If you had, if you had to guess, who would you think would win this game? I think Filthy Fresh is gonna win. 
Well, I I I kind of hope they win too. But like, if I look at a team composition wise, I don't know. It might. I I'm I'm slightly in the you favor never of the purple team. That Leeson being gold, it it's it's just that maybe you know he can do the fancy Leeson plays. That 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 kind of worries me. <laughs> Well, let's find out. We're about to go in game soon. We have one person who's yet to reach 100%. So what do you think about that Darius top lane pick? Like, Darius hasn't been seen top lane for a long time, but uh, I've, I've heard they're going to be buffing him soon, so I think we're going to be seeing yeah, a lot of Darius top lane. What about scalability? What do you think about that Jinx versus Corky? Like late game, who do you think like who has the advantage? <laughs> Nef, you're still here? So we're in game right now, and uh, Buddy in of your course, channel timed out. Uh, we're not going to be seeing any invade on the blue team, but the red team is preparing for an invasion or maybe setting up for an invasion of their own. And this is surprising, but I'm not seeing a pause. All five members of each team have successfully. Oh dear. Oh, that's Wasi getting caught out, but no, he'll be fine, he'll be fine. I think Leona was thinking the entire team would be there and kind of backed off when she realized that uh, Jinx was the only one there. Buddy was moved to your channel. Alright, so... We're not seeing an invade on the uh, on either team right now. Lee Sin starting at his blue buff, and uh, we saw that small kind of something engage, which really didn't do anything. No harm, no foul. The wards have been set up. There's not going to be any invade. It's going to be a safe jungle. So, Nephilim, is your uh, thingy fine now? Wait, wait. Alright. My clients a bit bug right now. Cool, cool. Alright. So both junglers starting at Gromp, which uh, has become the new standard start in the new jungle. And uh, both of them getting pretty good leashes from both of their team members. Wukong getting a heads up on the CS. Oh, okay, not really. So I don't think we'll be seeing much action till either of the junglers decide to uh, gank. Oh, we're seeing some action in the top lane with uh, Darius, like Wukong actually engaging on Darius, which I think is kind of... Yeah, this Wukong is, is going Nimbus, pretty aggro. Yeah, this is a Nimbus Strike Wukong. I think... I don't I think, think that's he's aware of... Wukong shouldn't do right now. Yeah, this, this Darius seems to have picked, like, Wukong, like, Darius. I, I'm not sure if he's, like, if he's a Darius player, but he should have the advantage once the level advantage. In the bot lane, we see Jinx has the CS lead over Corky. By two. And, yeah, like, Corky seems to be more interested in poking. Like, the bot lane is banking everything on and the... Uh, we see the engage from and Leona. Yeah, like, oh. Jinx getting really low oh, there. Jinx Rossi getting a lot really of damage. Low. As we can see, uh, Darius actually went for a uh, sustained start, whereas Wukong went for a Duran's Blade. And, oh, 
Darius dismissed his apprehend there. Yeah, but Wukong actually not doing the smart thing here by constantly harassing Darius. He's run out of mana. And he's already pinging his jungler for a gank. And we see that Darius has not warded his jungle. So we're gonna be seeing a gank in top lane. I guess Wukong's trying to bait. Yeah, he's definitely trying to bait this. And, oh, and he falls there goes for the it. Gate. Oh! And oh! Oh, oh, and oh, the first oh. blood. First blood goes to Wukong. There was no play. <laughs> that was actually like. <laughs> <laughs> Lee Sin not going in in time to use his. Uh... What's his E called? I don't know. Okay. So, but. So he having, he's having to flash to like. Secure that kill, but uh, still, first blood is first blood. That is uh, two gold, 200 gold for each of them. The advantage is an advantage. Of course, Darius having the teleport will actually be in front of Wukong when he comes back. So, like, that level advantage will really affect Wukong in lane. Uh, if you take a look at mid lane, Lissandra's got a massive CS lead over like almost 50, like, like half more. Like, this Maldonar hasn't been able to farm at all. And I think he's gonna miss all of his CS after yeah, that. Yeah, he just missed all- oh no, he got one. Okay, he got one. Like, he's having a terrible time CSing over there. In the top lane, we see, of course, like the level advantage going to Darius. He's and yes, Wukong. Oh, oh, the clear advantage. Oh my God, the damage. If Darius was level six, that was a dead monkey. Meanwhile, in the bot lane, uh, Jinx still has the level advantage over Corky. I mean, the CS advantage, but. They are getting zoned pretty hard. Oh, Lee Sin heading bot lane for a gank here. For a gang. Oh, and they go in. They go in. Oh, Lee Sin misses his Q entirely. Misses his Q and that's, that's a fail it. gank. And that's a fail. Oh, gang. oh, Basi. Oh, and and he, oh, the oh, heal getting used. Basi getting a bit greedy there. And and the pause. Paused. Okay. I think I kind of disconnected don't get... right there. Okay, right. Okay. The support was the one who initiated the pause, but she's the one who disconnected. Okay. So, so far, let's take a look at how the lanes are going. Um, Wukong getting first blood on Darius, but I don't think that really did much because Darius is still gonna have the clear advantage in Wukong. Despite Wukong's big axe start, he still has no sustain. Darius, however, does have sustain, and we see Kha'Zix going top for a gank. Meanwhile, in mid lane, Malz are having a really tough time farming. Of course, both of them have kind of not really use their sustain items at all, but Lissandra, 47 CS. Lissandra is way ahead. Yeah, like, Lissandra's got a huge lead over Malzahar, and, like, Lissandra's got her escapes as well, so Leeson isn't really bothering to gank mid lane. However, his gank at bot lane was kind of successful, like, the only reason it was successful was because Jinx got a bit greedy. And this support, we can make them. Yeah, I think she's back, and uh, the game will be resuming. Luckily, this game hasn't had much pause time, so that's a good thing. So if we take a look at the bot lane, Janna is still at risk of dying here, but uh, she is kind of staying and... That no, I not think she's gonna Kha'Zix. be. Yeah, she's gonna go back. Oh, and I think the red team will get Dragon out I think of this. The, I think Kha'Zix is trying to dive here, but Darius is already level 6. Yeah, Darius six. has level 6. This, this is a good opportunity for... Uh, 
Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, they're yeah, they're gonna, they're, they're gonna die. They're, they're initiating the dive. And I think Wukong's dead. Wukong's oh, dead. Oh, wow. Okay. And, and Kha'Zix gets the assist. Of course, a top lane kill for... And the red team got the first dragon. Yeah, I mean, bot lane had to go back. They, this was a free dragon for them. Lissandra going back as well. No wards in the dragon pit either for the blue team, so... I think they are aware the dragon has been lost, because it, it becomes pretty evident for the enemy team. And I think that puts Darius far ahead of Wukong. I mean... Uh, Look at the CS difference. Yeah, like, Darius and Wukong. For, what I don't understand right now is Corky, who actually killed Jinx in lane, is still behind Jinx in CS. Oh, no, that's... Oh, that uh, Kazix had no chance. Yeah, he had no chance at all. However, yes, the thing about like, the purple team's goal lead is still higher, despite the kill lead on the red team being more. Despite the dragon, it's because of their CS difference yeah, with like, Lidanra and it's Darius. It's a massive CS difference here. I mean, not only. On like the lanes, not even the ADC has a CS lead over the uh, purple team. And it seems like the blue team support is having issues. She seems to be lagging out a lot, but uh, she'll be back, I'm sure. Meanwhile, let's take a look at the enchantments. Both, uh, no, I see Lee Sin's gone for the Stalker's Blade, while Kha'Zix is gone for the Trailblazer. And both of them will be building the Warrior enchantment. But even in the jungle, Kha'Zix has a uh, 10 CS lead over Lee Sin. I think the only, like, champion that has a lead in CS is the support, and I don't think that really matters, because those are probably Runic Shield parks. And the support reconnected. Yep. I guess we're good to go again. The red team support is in mid lane right now, so, um... Okay, and here we go. The game's going back live in... Soon. Alright, five, four, three, three two, two, one. one. Alright, so Jinx warding the bot lane river. The support is mid lane heading bot right now. Oh. Leeson heading toward their red buff, which should be up. Um, well, I don't have the jungle timers on the spectrum, yeah. but yeah. Okay, they're heading bot lane right now, and that bush is warded, so they will see this coming. And the and pause again. The okay. Pause. I think uh, the red team's beginning to think they're trying to, like, uh, I don't know, win by annoying them or something. Um, and she disconnects again. I think Melzahar's <laughs> catching up with the CS. He is actually, but no, I don't think he's anywhere close. Lissandra's at 63, he's at 38. The only reason Malzor is, like, he's gonna be able to catch up soon is once his, uh, Malefic Vision gets strong enough to, like, clear the wave on its own. But that one assist and that blue buff, though, really put him, like, ahead in the goal department. I mean, still, they're not ahead ahead, but uh, if you take a look at the gold here, Wukong's got 300 gold less than Darius. Leeson's got more gold than Kha'Zix, however, because he did get that kill. Lissandra also with a 300 gold lead over Malzahar. Jinx with... No, Jinx and Corky are pretty much even, despite Corky having the assist. But that's, again, because of the CS lead, which isn't much, so... That's a bit confusing. I thought the summoner, the, the support reconnected, so I'm not sure what's happening here. 
Uh, she's lagging, I think. I mean, she just reconnected. Uh, I don't know. Oh well. Um. So so far, uh, how do you think this bot lane game will go? I mean, Leona's not six yet, so I think the uh, bot lane is good for now. Kha'Zix is still heading bot. I think just this gank is gonna fail. I don't think you're gonna do anything out of this. Yeah. They're just gonna bite them. We well, it depends. If Leona does decide to go in, there's a Kha'Zix coming in and they have the Janna disengaged if he's not lagging. Oh, someone else? Oh, she disconnected again. Okay. Alright, so, um, I guess I spoke too soon when I said that there wouldn't be much pause time. That was my bad. So, so far, the only objective that's been taken is Dragon. Uh, laning phase is still going on. It's only eight minutes in the game. Let's take a look at bot lane itemization. Corky has a fade. Corky has a fade and... Against the Jinx's pickaxe and a dagger. And the attack speed, dagger. Yeah, so, um, of course, Corky with the phage. I mean, that means he's going for a Triforce, which, of course, you need on Corky. Jinx. I think a pickaxe does give more damage than a phage, doesn't it? But, you know, Corky. Yeah, that is true. Corky does have his true damage. But, uh, and I guess they're gonna armor resume. shred. Yeah, they're gonna resume. Let's see what happens in the bot again. Yeah, this, this gank's not happening. Yeah, then this gank's not happening. Oh, beautiful gear. Beautiful in there. Luna just took a lot of moves from the bot. Uh, and Leeson's not gonna bother ganking. He's gonna take the scuttle crap, however, which will add to their vision. Yeah, um, Malzahar abusing that blue buff. And also, actually, uh, kind of beginning to catch up with the CS. Uh, oh, 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 oh. There's some action oh, going okay. on. Yeah, Kha'Zix will get away, no problem. Oh, Vasi missed one CS. Okay. And Wukong still having a very hard time. I mean, it, it was it was kind of obvious. Oh my God! Oh, damage. I think he's oh, gonna dear. die oh, again. Dear. And oh dear! Oh dear! Oh dear! Oh, he gets away. Oh, he gets away. Actually, having to use his ult to run away there. And uh, this is not going in favor of Wukong. I think uh, his only redemption will be in team fights. Darius, of course, is going Triforce. Okay, I would. I was expecting him to go tank first, but I mean, whatever works for him. The Sandra should stay away when there's a vision on a minion nearby, really. Uh, I think, will we be seeing the first turret going down? No, we will not. No, we will not. No, we will not. Alright, that, that blue buff Malefic Vision. Okay, I think Lissandra is beginning to figure out that she has to dodge. And oh, we have this another time it's the, it's the purple team support who is this game. However, red team is not pausing. Oh, they did. Okay. Okay, they paused. Oh, and they're back. And they're back. That was fast. So 
So we see Lee Sin is 201, Kha'Zix is 011, but yeah, one, uh, one. he does have that CS lead. And of course, jungle creeps are worth much more gold, aren't they? Alright, alright. Uh, no action so far. I don't know why there are two... Oh, Leona missing her engage there. Did you notice the two red buffs in top lane in both the brushes? Oh! Oh! What? Going what? In. That was. What's going on? That was, going that on was bad. Oh! Oh! There's Leeson. Oh! That Q land. Wow! Wow! Oh, and then Lissandra just died. Lissandra had no chance, like, Lissandra was suppressed, yeah. so she couldn't even ult herself. And I think, uh, they're setting up for Dragon. One minute to Dragon. This Darius is bullying this Wukong pretty hard right now. Yeah, that's what happens when you take a Darius and it's pretty hard. Most of the time. That is true. I mean, currently Wukong is considered a, a god tier top laner, but they didn't count for a Darius. Are they haunting Kha'Zix? I'm not sure. Oh my god, and the I damage think, is oh, real. The damage from Darius. Also, Darius is building damage, so. And he's going for a. Yeah, nope, nope, nope. And Wukong there goes just the top turn. Runs the fuck away. That's the first turret of the game. The first uh, objective secured and dragons up. Oh, oh and Leona oh, just engaged. Oh, 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 that's a dead Leona. Bad engage. That engagement. was bad a bad engage. engage and they weren't ready. So, I see Lee Sin still up. Everyone's still up. Uh, Kha'Zix hey, is kind of low, up. so I'm not sure if they're gonna go for this dragon. And the Janna is standing over there. I think she disconnected again. Ooh. And yeah, the, she has. that was a pretty good. What the? Oh. <laughs> that ulti missed though. Uh, if I don't know, maybe turret. I for... think they're gonna they're gonna get yep, the they're gonna turret, gonna get the turret now. Turret. And I think they're gonna get Dragon too. The blue team has like four, almost 4k gold lead now. The gold lead for a blue team getting pretty big. Uh, that's a uh, 3k lead right now. And uh, they're gonna be going for Dragon. It is warded, so. I think they're, they're gonna get the second Yeah, one. this this might not go too hard for them. Oh, no, 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 Darius, 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 save your team, Darius. And that's a dead Leona. Oh, Leona's. the heal oh, saves him. Still, that's a dead Leona right there. Oh, there's... <laughs> I think Leeson almost stole that with his Q, that was really close. I just realized that they were playing 4v5 this whole time. Yeah, they were. Oh dear, Darius is gonna die. That's a dead Darius. Basi does not have his ult right now. Yeah, he'll be fine. No boots either, but he'll be fine. And meanwhile, at top lane, Wukong got their first turret. Wukong taking this chance to like try and catch up with CS and levels. He really can't do much against that Darius. However, Wukong is going for that uh, Hydra. Like, both the top laners going damage, opting to go damage first over tankiness. However, the advantage here being that Darius is kind of tanky himself. Wukong is not. So that's... Uh, now two turrets for two turrets for both teams. Uh, the goal lead still in blue team's favor, however, because of the uh, CS lead and uh, the kills are even. 
Miles and I getting his blue buff to continue his uh, vision spam. And uh, Kha'Zix giving over his blue to Lissandra. And more wards. Okay, the ward clearing game continues. Hey. <laughs> okay, I <laughs> guess they'll both up. have their ward in their push. Lee Sin built a sight stone, of course, for his uh, Lee Sin plays. Uh, Kha'Zix, however, has been part of four assists. That's almost all of the kills for his team. He has been part of that, so that's like yeah. more gold in his favor. Even though Lee Sin has had two kills of his own. Okay, did you see that Corky Rocket go through Jinx? Or was that just me? Uh, no, I didn't see that. Okay, I, I guess that was just me. Okay, we see uh, Kha'Zix has also bought the trinket this week, Kha'Zix and uh, I guess Leona does not get a ward. I guess, oh, oh, I guess oh, they're oh, gonna oh, go oh, for oh, Lissandra. Oh, oh. Okay, uh, no, maybe not. Lissandra dodges the Q. They're gonna go for a counter gank and... Oh, 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 what? Oh, and they got... Oh, oh that's Zonia, Zonia plays. But he's still dead, he's still dead. Oh, Lissandra ulted for nothing. And meanwhile, at bot lane, Jinx got killed. Lissandra outs get nothing, no assist. That and I actually... think their support is DC. That explains. Yeah, that was a wasted ultimate. That's a wasted cooldown. Really, that's gonna take a long time to come back up. That's that's over a minute. That's a minute and a half for nothing. I think Lissandra was worried Miles of her would use his ulti, but uh, well. Wukong's heading toward mid lane. Oh no, just warding. I think he's gonna continue pushing top lane. Darius is heading top. Darius is kind of yeah, low. Yeah, he's gonna continue pushing. Darius is low. Nope, nope. Wukong doesn't want to fight this Darius. This, this and Wukong's Mercury low on mana. Trinity yeah. Force Mercury shuts Darius. And bot turret will go down. To the red team, the first turret of bot lane. Uh, Lee Sin keeps uh, ping for like the red buff, but uh, well, Lee Jinx doing quite a lot of damage. She has finished her Triforce. Oh dear! Oh dear! No! I no, no, no! What? No! Oh! 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 And the TP's of Darius is coming right in. Oh no, this is not going in their favor. I they think don't this have is gonna any, be any they don't have any TP on their the team, team either. Yeah, that's why I said Ignite for Wukong was a very good decision. I mean the flash. I mean Ignite was actually the not a good decision because yeah. Wukong had no you kill chance taken in lane TP. either. Wukong had zero kill chance in lane against this Darius. If we take a look at the CS's again, um, everyone on the blue team has a CS lead over the red team. Hey, wake up. And no one is fed except for the Darius, and well, technically, I guess the Lissandra's fed too. Did Kha'Zix just smite the Scuttlecrab? I guess he did. Okay. Well, he is going back. I am sure Spike would be up by the time he reaches any jungle lands. Plus, he is running a Trailblazer, so that's a heal for him. And there he is doing the right thing, going tanky now. I guess all he needs is his Triforce. However, I think, uh, personally, I prefer a Hydra on Darius for damage. What do you think? Oh, oh, I think the red team is gonna go for an engage right here. 
Yes. Oh, and oh, that was bad in the game again for Leona. What? And what? that channel. What? Just... What? What? <laughs> <laughs> this team fight is this chaos. This team fight is crazy. And the flashes. Ace. That Ace team fight. For the red so team. Haywire and Dragon going to blue team. Massive goal lead. That was a pretty bad engage by Leona. I think Leona got caught out. She had no choice, but the follow up, the follow up was bad. <laughs> They're gonna be getting blue buff as well. Jinx taking the blue buff because Jinx totally needs blue buff. I hope Darius doesn't die to Gronk here. Okay. Yeah, no, he's not gonna get executed. And I think Jinx is gonna be going bot lane to get that juicy wave of CS. Oh, that must have been so satisfying. Wukong finishes his Hydra, finally, and going for more damage rather than building tanky. But, uh, at least it is building tank. And, uh, what do you think Malzar is building with that, uh, chain rest? Uh, I think he's gonna go for some GA or something in the late game. Or Red Rings. But the chain rest, though, like, is he building a GA? Is he that afraid of the... I mean, he's got no damage, so even if he does build... Okay, he does have some damage, but if he builds a GA, it seems kind of wasted. Yeah. I think he just bought that to, you know, sustain from Kavix's damage. Well, they do have a lot of AD damage coming in from uh, Kha'Zix, Darius, and Jinx. Uh, Red buff going down to Jinx, who is actually getting really big right now attack speed and phantom dancer and infinity edge that's that's a big jinx yeah. and i think they're gonna be pushing down mid lane and, and they're uh, supporting pcs again And she's and back, okay. Alright, these guys are setting up for the some blue team has a huge goal lead right now. It's massive. It's that last team fight can. really going in their favor. Like, it was a... Yeah, it's really going in their favor. I think it was a 5-4-1, right? Oh, 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 Malzar in I think trouble here. We're gonna see a team what? fight right now. Oh. Oh, 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 and oh, there is the car. Oh. No, that was that was bad on the blue team's part. They shouldn't have done that. There is alone with four people. Oh, the leasing dodge is real. Maldonado does not have his zonias right now, and uh, two members I from think the blue Jinx team can get dead. a kill if she ulties. No, Jinx just wasted her ulti right oh. now. She just did. And then Oh, what? What and happened? Then there? Oh no 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 That was that was a weird engage. Uh, if I were the sound I would have gone in there, that's amazing. Yeah, that was an amazing Yeah, that was an easy kill. That was an easy kill. Oh, I think oh, no, 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 no. that was a bad choice. Lissandra, use your Qs, do something. Oh my god. Ah, he got yes, a kill, he got yes. a kill. Yes. And I think they can kill the Wukong and follow the Pokey. Oh dear. Oh, and the Darius. Yeah, he'll get the kill. That one bad engage, they're really costing them. Darius is the yeah. most fed member of their team and they can't afford to go in like that. However, Darius' lead still massive. He's 7-3 and they do have a 5k goal lead. But as you saw in that last team fight, Corky is doing damage. He has got items. He is hurting. Even though he is like 1-2-7, he's got more assists than his support here. 
<laughs> well, their support was DC for like six uh, to seven to eight times. The red team support DC just once. However, while uh, blue team support constantly DC, she still got like eight assists. Yeah, she which also is... got DC in like the last team fight. Yeah, which is which is still like only four less than their jungler who has been actively taking part in most of the kills. The thing is, once that Kha'Zix gets his damage, he's gonna be pretty scary. Yeah. And Wukong's going at tanky right now. Yeah, Wukong finally building tank, right? I don't know what he was gonna do with that longsword, but he is going tank now. I think he's and gonna try and build Brutalizer and then finish the Black Cleaver. Probably, or uh, he could be going for a Last Whisper, either one. Yeah, either one works. Oh, oh, Le Le Leona's alone here. She has to blow Flash if she wants to survive this. Yeah, uh, fortunately, that not turning into a kill for the red team or the blue team over here. No team fight, they just avoid each other. They are setting up for the next dragon, which is up in five seconds. Darius is top lane, and he does have teleport up. Okay, the entirety of the red team, I mean, most of them, are heading top lane to stop that Darius, so this would be a good opportunity for the blue team to be doing dragon. I think they're gonna kill the oh, Darius. Oh no, they're right going now. in on the Darius, who is definitely not tanky. Oh, he's gonna die. He's and gonna meanwhile, die. at bot lane. Nope, this. Nope, nope. nope. And they and just gave a free dragon. They won't get anything out of this. Maybe they'll get dragon, hopefully. Yeah. If they're fast enough. Dragon. They should hurry it up. Hurry it up, guys. Yeah, that's an easy dragon. Yeah, they yeah. got that. It's gonna go down really fast. Oh, Jinx, not that way. Okay. And Wukong's gonna go oh, in. No, 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 oh, no, 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 Oh, and Lizandra has... Oh, that Janna over No, Janna's gonna die. No, Jinx is fine. I think Jinx is fine. Yeah, 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 Jinx is fine. He's gonna make a few things. Oh, but she's really low, and that turret is one hit yeah. away from dying. And it's gone. And it's gone. <laughs> Okay, um, nah, they, I don't think they'll get this turret. Oh, Corky does not want to risk getting- Oh, there's a- <laughs> Nobody, um, nobody, man, gets it. Kill nobody dies from that. So, that last team fight, uh, all that came off it was, I think, two kills. Lilisandra and the Darius. Darius died in top lane, so... Actually, I think the Kha'Zix died too. And I think Janna disconnected again, right? Yeah, she disconnected again. Alright, uh... A uh, massive wave coming in top lane. I wonder who's gonna take it in the uh, all of the blue teams bot lane. And Wukong's gonna split push top again. Yeah, I think Wukong's. No, I think blue team's heading top right now. Let's take a look at the vision right now. Like, red team has got more wars in the enemy jungle than they do. And Wukong's pretty much catching up. Yeah, Wukong's been able to free farm because Darius has been able to pick up the slack for his team. Like, Darius has had to, like, participate in team fights more. That's the reason they won most of their team fights, but Wukong's been able to free farm because of that. And he got a kill advantage, so he's getting pretty big. And I think you were right, he is going for the Brutalizer. Uh, he's gonna finish off the Black Cleaver first instead of Last Whisper. Yeah, that's that's gonna help his ultimate a lot. Oh oh oh! Corky has no disengage right now. Oh what the! 
Oh, and Corky dies. That was. I think they're gonna get was... a Wukong too. I think Wukong. Yeah, Wukong is dead, pretty much. No, that's that's a dead Wukong, of course. Yeah, that was a bad Wukong. Uh, Lee Sin going in unnecessarily, followed by the Corky dying to Kha'Zix. I think that's an ace. Oh, and that's yes, an ace. he's an ace. And the goal lead only gets bigger. So let's take a look at the levels here. Junglers. Jason level 11, Kha'Zix 14, Two, oh, four, 15 assists. That's more than a support. Yeah, that's, that's more than... It's it's actually the... Every single one of their kills. Kha'Zix has been there. Like 15 deaths, 15 assists. Kha'Zix has been there for all of them. Oh, wait, that was Oh, I got that wrong. That's not 15 deaths. That's 15 kills for the red team. Okay, so we see the red team setting up for dragon right now. Um, yeah, dragon's one minute. River away. is warded uh, with a fresh ward, actually. So I think they'll be getting this and... Uh, Moving on to take their buffs. Oh, blue team going for Baron. They're going for Baron. That is not oh, they're gonna get a free Baron. for Baron. Easy Baron here. And they have no vision over the Baron. Like, so red team has no oh, idea. They've yeah. only warded the uh, dragon side of dragon the blue team. Side. And oh, that's oh, a oh, dead mother. And that's a dead mother. <laughs> That was an easy call. I think they're gonna push it off right yeah, now. They, 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 that was... This is... I think this is gonna be going... Big favor. Jin City 1k crits right now. trying to push the bot lane. Uh, Wukong, Wukong is split pushing without I think, teleport. I think Blue Team so. can get the inhibitor turret as well. Because it's a 3v5. Oh my, oh, 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 oh and oh, they're gonna oh, get the inhibitor oh. and the inhibitor turret. Is this GG? Is this GG? Yeah, this might be GG. Oh, the damage is Now they're gonna respawn, and Darius just goes and back. And Darius goes top, so... Ah, uh, it's not gonna I don't be know why Darius went top. They could've ended the game right then and there. I mean, why he went bot again? I think it's to save their inhibitor turret, just in case. Oh, nope. <laughs> and Darius has up. no idea he was there. Wukong is still scared of that area, so he's not gonna- Oh, is he gonna solo dragon? That Hydra proc yeah. going completely to waste? Yeah, the blue team has no vision on the dragon pit. Uh, yeah, they're gonna get dragon. they can. Yeah, they're gonna get easy dragon. And they got the... Uh, it's gone. That's the first dragon for the red team. No, that's no, the no, second it's not. dragon. It's the second dragon, okay. So blue team has three dragons and the red team has two. And... Uh, oh! And that Kofi nope. engaged. Nope. And that was... Nope. That was that's, the lack that's of vision right too. there. Yeah, this is, this is over. I... Uh, Yep. Oh, and it's over, I think. The uh, damage for the from team. the Kha'Zix, this is... This is over. And Kha'Zix got a lot of armor penetration. Last yeah, year, Kha'Zix, is, last Kha'Zix doesn't want to waste any more time. He wants to end this game. <laughs> this is... I think this is gonna be... Uh, oh! Ho, 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 ho. More BM. <laughs> Well, I don't know if that's BM or a legitimate compliment right uh, now. I think that's a BM because you know, uh, at the game start, Malzahar was saying like, nice oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's the second inhibitor going down. Blue team really... And I think... Nope! Oh, okay. yeah, takes the kill. I think they're not gonna end. Now they're not coming back from this. I think this is the blue team's win. 
Yeah, this is a great hint. Again, Gleason does the same thing. Messes up with his E. Oh, oh no, and no, Kazakh no, going... No, oh, and... Oh, oh and yes. Kazakh died. Ignite. I guess uh, Wukong's oh, Ignite is good for something. And then Shepard the just okay. disconnected again. She's fine. Look at Jinx is CS lead over Corky. Jinx has like 300 CS. 303 CS, CS in 36 yeah, minutes. That's, a that's lot. amazing. That's actually really good. Corky 240, 148. Jinx is 83. That's a 4k gold lead between Corky and Jinx right there. If you can see the gold. Yeah, but here's the thing. Corky is more bursty. Jinx though, she's got the attack speed. She's got the damage. She's got the sustain. Orky just has a life steal like a vampire acceptor. Um, what is Wukong building? Is he going for a Warmox? I have no idea. I think he's gonna go for a frozen melon. Well, that is possible. Like, more damage. Because that's totally what they need. More damage. Yeah, Wukong's gonna get frozen mallet. I was I was kidding about them needing more damage, really. <laughs> but I don't I don't. This game's actually over. They're gonna be going for the uh, final inhibitor here, and at this point, the blue team can really just dive them under turret. There's nothing they can do about it. Yeah, then there's nothing they can do right now. I mean, though, they all look pretty tanky right now. I mean, I think the only person at this point who they can, like, who Kha'Zix can quickly kill is, uh, Corky. So we see Darius has Banshees, Randuin, Sunfire, and he's still holding on to his Crystalline fa Flask. Yeah. I think you should sell that right now for this late game. I wonder what he's gonna buy last. Actually, I think a guardian angel on Darius wouldn't be a bad idea. Yeah, since he's not that I think he should get a revenus maybe. Yeah, a hydra would really buff his damage up. I usually like to start with a Hydra on Darius. And they got the last inhibitor turn. Guys. Oh, and that's Leona disconnecting, I think. Uh, oh, and Darius didn't... Um... Never mind, he got that. Yeah. That's the third inhibitor. I guess at this point it's probably GG. Yeah, I mean, as you saw, their their support disconnected, but they didn't really bother pausing or anything. Yeah. Oh 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 oh! Oh, oh and Wolfram goes oh. for an engage. They're doing whatever they can just protect their oh. Nexus turrets. Uh, and it's a GG. I think this and seals it. This seals it. This seals it. Yep, that is GG. That is GG, and I think Fulty Fresh take this game easy. Like, that is a massive goal lead, a massive kill lead, objective lead. Well played, Fulty Fresh. Oh, look at that. The blue team also played with a lot of disadvantage with the support being DC and all, but they won. 